can bring Amanda up here, add to the stream and see. Hey girl. Hi, good morning. Hey, oh my gosh. I'm just telling you when I, so I got your book and I read it, right? And then I called you and I said, Amanda, it's Terry. <laughs> I just got your book and I just read it. Hmm. Every child needs to, can I just share with you actually what I think is so perfect about this book? Yeah, please. <laughs> okay. So what I think is perfect about this book is how it gives you opportunity to get engage in conversations mm -hmm. with the children about different children that they'll meet along the way in their life. Yes, absolutely. Right. So there's yes. parts of the books that I didn't share that I'd like for you to share. Like there's pictures of kids in the back. Yes. What's what is what is that? You want to share what that's about? You yeah. guys say hello. Everybody say hello to Amanda. Look, Laura Lee says she Hi. loves it. Oh, she thank loves, you. loves, loves it. Okay, there's your friend Lena. Hi, Lena. Hi, Lena. <laughs> yes, so we had a read along right now with my girls. Hi, girls. Lena, what's your daughter's name? Do you know Lena's daughter's name? Do you want to say hi to them? Do you know? Hi, Alexia. Hi, Leah. <laughs> I know them. They're the sweetest. Yes, nice. <laughs> okay, so thank you for sharing, Laura Lee. So, yeah, you guys. Share this out because you can go along with the read along with your friends, right? Hi, Jammer. Okay, so you want to share with everybody about the what's happening with the back of the book? Yeah, actually, I can share it with you guys. Um, sure. So you'll see at the very last page is you'll actually see a picture of these are all the real kids. So each child in my book is actually based on a real character, a real person in real life. And these are all people that are just near and dear to my heart and the reason why I wrote this book. So I think that makes it a little bit more special for people when um, they read it and they realize it's not just a made up story. Uh, these are real, real feelings, real so people. How about if you share who, who Cash is? You want to share in your book what you what you wrote about who Cash is? Yeah, can you, Cash read, that is, to, can you yeah. read that to us? You want okay, me to read so, the part in the book or the yep, part read, in the yep. back? Yeah, read the okay. part in the back. Read the part in the back. So in the back, you guys, she shares who the real, real children are in the book. Love your earrings, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, meet Cashton. Cash was born with Down syndrome. He's an adorable eight-year-old that is a big brother to two younger brothers and one sister. He loves swimming, playing his guitar, riding his bike, and all things Spider-Man. So it's fun when they get to read these little, you know, snippets about these kids that they can share the same interests. So it's really fun to hear yes. how kids react to that. And like, I love the fact that they're real life children. Yes. So they're real life children that can, um, that, yeah, that, so they can. And so I, that's what I, I love. I love for one, it reminds the kids who they are in mm -hmm. Christ, yes. right? That God loves them. And then it's a it's an opportunity for parents now to share with their children, you know, the different because in the back also you have a glossary. Yes. Yeah. Tell you want to tell us about the glossary? Yeah. So it's actually the very last page you'll see is actually a glossary. So let's just say you're having these conversations with your kids and they're asking, you know, what is it? What is spina bifida or what does it mean to be blind? Um, these are just easy ways to to open up conversation with your kids about what it means and what different disabilities look like. So yeah, so it's a, it, yes. it's, it's a great uh, tool. It's a great tool to use for sure. Yes, very cool. Okay. The kids get to know that it's real life kids so you can engage in conversation. I do think that this is a, ch a book that every child should own. I think that preschoolers can write like, so like um, my grandson, I met his teacher last year, well then COVID happened, right? But I was gonna do a, a, I was gonna go to his preschool and read to the kids. And this is a book that I would read to the kids, like volunteer to read to the kids, right? So even right now, if teachers are watching this, so if you guys wanna share this out and tag anybody you know who's a teacher, Hey, Jammer. Thank you. Jammer says, this is amazing. Kids are often afraid of the differences due to not having knowledge. I love this. Yes. Debbie says, this is so important to educate our children about children that are different but special. Yes. Amen. You know what I love about this too? So my grandson, my daughter's been doing, uh, he's nine, and my daughter has been doing 
they've been like reading the Bible and, you know, like yeah. sometimes I'll call and say, JR, can you tell me 10 things that you um, are really thankful for that happened yesterday? Right. Oh, so I I'll, love that. Yeah. I'll tell him 10 things that I'm thankful for. Then he'll tell me 10 things. And, you know, like sometimes he's like, I got to be the one to read the Bible. Mommy didn't read the Bible. I read the Bible. Aww. So what's pretty cool is that when your kids are reading age, they can be the one who also reads it to the younger kids and it sparks comp. So I love the way that this book will, that's what I loved about it. I was like, Oh my gosh, it reminds you of who you are, who mm -hmm. you are. So you can have conversations. It, rem it gives an opportunity to ask questions about maybe people you're meeting along in life. Mm -hmm. They can relate to the kids because it's real kids in the book, Absolutely. right? Real kids you personally know. Yeah, I've had a lot of support and I appreciate all my family and friends that have been uh, praying for me up till, you know, up till now. <laughs> so I appreciate it. We want to expand you out and share you out, right? You guys yeah. want other people to know about Amanda's book. And then this is a great, right? So Jammer says you're doing great, right? Oh, thank I, you. So, so my heart to heart conversations are people who, like I like to say, are extraordinary, masked and ordinary. Hmm. If you were in the grocery store, somebody going in the grocery store would not know this extraordinary thing that you have done, right? This is extraordinary to be able to put, I, I can tell it's God inspired. Right? Oh, definitely. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, so just walking in the grocery store, nobody's going to know, wow, Amanda created that. Wow, she did. She created that book, right? But for me, this is extraordinary. So I think a lot of us do extraordinary, th extraordinary things and we live extraordinary lives, but it's not just out there for the world to see. And I mm -hmm. really wanted to share this out because I was like, oh, thank you. Can you know I want to tell you something, Amanda? Yeah. I'm not sure who posted this, but you have two other sisters, right? I do. I have two others. I'm the middle. I'm yes. The sandwich so in between. I I'm not sure which one of you or your two sisters posted this, but it was a thing that I was like, wow, this is actually, I'm going to read in the back of the book what it says. It says here, um, there's something that says about the author, right? It has your photo. You're so beautiful. Is it Amanda? Oh, thank you. Oh, no. So it says, Amanda Soria is a God, did I say your last name right? Yeah, Soria. Yeah. Soria <laughs> is a God-fearing woman, a Devoted, devoted wife and a loving mother of two boys. Amanda's mission in creating this book is to carry out the message to God's children that you are perfect as you are and to see all of God's creation through his eyes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's it. So here, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what happened. So I always talk to people about the courting process, right? So I don't know if you, so it's, so we go through the courting process with our kids, but I say that you should do that online. So mm. online can be unsafe but you want it to be safe, right? Mm -hmm. So we know each other through Bookworthy, okay? So then as we friend each other, but then this is what I do. I follow and stalk people, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a bad, that sounds bad, but really what I do is I like to get to know them to see if they resonate, if we are on the same mission, mm -hmm. right? And so there was something that you or your sisters, one of you guys posted, and it, it was a, and I'm always saying three strands are not easily broken. Mm. Then can you imagine an army of Christ-centered believers who are physically and financially healthy and strong, working to advance God's kingdom in their sphere of influence, right? Yes. And so, yeah. And so um, it was either you or one of your two sisters had shared, shared, oh, I can't even remember how the post was, but it was so meaningful. It was a tribute to your mom and they shared mm. how the greatest gift that she could have given you guys was each other. Yes. Strength, not easily broken. Mm hmm do you remember that post? Yeah, I posted that. <laughs> you posted that, right? Yeah. And that's when I said, oh, you know what? So I want to make sure I'm, you know, I get to know Amanda a little bit. That's be yeah. That's a beautiful tribute to your mom. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm blessed to have my sisters. I mean, I wouldn't be who I am today without them and their support. So I love you, yeah. mom. I'm, I know you're on listening. I love yeah. you. And so we thank do. you. We want to give a shout out to a... Christ-centered Proverbs 31, woman of faith. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry. Oh yeah, this I isn't know, supposed to be emotional. <laughs> okay, so I do financial coaching. Not everybody knows this, but um, we, we cry all the time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I cry too when I'm losing my finances. <laughs> just yeah, joking. I'm, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm just like, can we get through a session where we're not 
big cry babies, but isn't that what happens? I have some women who maybe are new to the Lord, right? And they're going, you know, they're like, I can't go to church because I cry all the time. <laughs> right? But sometimes that's because you're so thankful. Yeah. For absolutely. what God does. You're thankful for what God does. I'm emotional all the time. At baptisms, I lose it. Yeah. <laughs> Just I can't. Yeah. So I'm definitely a crier. <laughs> is just around the corner right it is it's a it fits perfectly in a stocking trust me does it really I, I, it does <laughs> it fits perfect in a stocking so yeah that's pretty cool that's always so. fun you're always looking for you know stocking stuffers so so leaders mm -hmm. are readers you guys is a group that we have because we want to incur because we know right that reading is important it, so is important, important to develop yes. your leadership skills. So we want to start kids young. That's why mm -hmm. we want to do this. Yeah, I guess what I want to share is just that my hope and prayer um, through my book is that, um, is just to start those conversations at a young age with uh, with children. I, I can't stress it enough how much inclu inclusion matters. And if we, if we just teach them young and make it as normal as if, you know, I have blonde hair, you have brown hair, you have, you know, green eyes, I have brown eyes, something like that. Or it's just, it's not, it's not so, so abnormal for them to come across somebody that's different from them. If we start that at a young age and instill that into our kids, that's just so, that's, that's the message I want to get out with my book. So that's, that's just my hope wow. and prayer. That's good. I'm glad I asked. Yeah, that's good. Right? No, really. So, so, so we want to make it at a young age that they don't look at everybody as just being so different, right? Yes. And if you have the conversations in the home, the conversations won't happen in front of that child. Why exactly. That? Right. Yeah, yeah. That, that's important. So you don't you don't come into those awkward um, situations. You know, kids are so brutally honest that you know if you have these conversations early on, you're not gonna run into um, any of those awkward situations. Yeah, so. so right, right. So kids are brutally honest, but what happens is they don't realize in their honesty that it could hurt another child. Yes. It's what probably, right, that's what, you know, because sometimes I'll hear, so we do want to teach our kids to be honest, but we also want to teach them to be purposeful in their words and to learn mm -hmm. how to be sensitive to the feelings of those around them. Yes, right. absolutely. Right. And that's also why, it's very repetitious. Uh, you'll see that the phrase is repeated throughout the book. And I purposely did that. So it's almost embedded in children's heads to memorize um, that message that, you know, God created you and you have a purpose and that you you are perfect, you know, as you are. So to just to, to remember that always. So that's I love important. that because it's the same thing as scripture memorization, mm -hmm. right? When you read it over and over again. And you read yes. it over and over again, they remember God loves you, mm -hmm. right? God loves you and God loves them. Yes. Just yes. as they, yeah. And they're no different. They're no different from us. Right. And that's, yeah. that's what I, my, my message is through that. They're, they have a heart, they have a feel, they have feelings and they want to make friends just like you and I, and they want to feel accepted and not set apart. So, yeah. yeah. Amen. Okay, you guys, didn't Amanda do great? Yay! Oh, Amanda thanks. I survived. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want you guys to remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, that you are, that you're valuable and you have worth. And I think this is a great book for us to read to children and even to remind ourselves that we're perfect just as we are. So I think that adults even need to hear that message. And so when you're reading it to your children, you're also hearing that message for yourself, right? You guys?